All right, itching to get back over to Canada? Well, you are in luck. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says fully vaccinated Americans will be allowed into the country beginning mid-August. With the border having been closed for more than a year, this is very exciting news for many businesses here in western New York who benefit from Canadian tourism. Ellie Peters joins us now in studio with more on the border reopening and what it means to folks around here. Ellie. Yeah, Adam, the news comes as Prime Minister Trudeau says Canada is doing well with its COVID-19 vaccination rate, with 80% of eligible Canadians now vaccinated with their first dose. The announcement is a sign of hope for businesses here in Monroe County who benefit more than you may think from having that border open. The Canadian border has been closed for over a year, and its effect can be felt here locally. It is a big impact. Uh, Canada is one of our largest target target markets, uh, and that is completely dried up. Don Jeffries, the president of Travel Rochester, says pre-pandemic, a lot of people from Canada would travel to Rochester to shop. He estimates their visits make up for about 20 to 30 percent of the city's revenue. Now, we're a pretty inexpensive place to shop and for some reason there are certain brands that are not available in Canada so they do the Canadians do come here local sports have also taken a pretty big hit because of the border closure specifically golf uh, golf is a huge sport in Rochester and it's a huge destination for the Canadians the number of golf groups we lost is is extensive. Once the border does open to fully vaccinated Americans, local travel agencies expect to see their business benefit as well. As many travelers from western New York will fly out of Canadian airports. We don't have direct flights anywhere, so a lot of times people, especially, well, especially going over to Europe or going down to the Caribbean. Uh, I have many, many customers will cross the border and will fly out of Toronto for a direct flight. A lot of times the flights are cheaper. But there's something to keep in mind as mid-August rolls around. You need a passport or enhanced driver's license to get into Canada. And right now, there's a massive delay when it comes to getting a passport or having yours renewed. If you do not have a passport, and I don't care if you're not traveling for two years, get it done now. It's taking a long time to come back. Now, Canada's Prime Minister said if things continue like they are, Canada would be able to welcome fully vaccinated travelers from all countries starting in September. Trudeau says he plans to share more details on the border reopening next week. Live in the studio, Ali Peters, News 8.